Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about full fat products and why you should be eating full fat products. Um, if you make the choice to eat processed food, uh, this is something that I get a lot of questions on. I get people like snapping me pictures of things or like, oh my gosh, should I eat this, this or this, this or this, which one's healthy? And it's such a tough question just to answer and say, this is what is officially healthy because I mean, it can depend. It depends on how that food fits into your day, fits into your plan to get you to your goals. Everybody's goals a little bit different. You're going to go through phases of your nutrition, you know, kind of fueling for your body for different things. So it's, it's tough to just off the cuff say, Hey, eat this or that. But when it comes to, you know, if you're looking at two products, so this is where I wanted to like draw the line here. If you're looking at two products and you're like, Hmm, this one says light. This one is just regular. Mm, what do I choose? What do I choose? Go with the regular. Go with the regular. Do not cut or skimp on anything. You know, think of it this way. You want your food as close to nature as possible. Why? Because that's how your body is designed to upload the most nutrient from it. And producing foods and things that are like, oh, low cal or light or low fat, blah, blah, blah. That means they're more processed. That means that there's more junk in them to try and make them taste the same. There's a reason butter is good because it's butter. <laughs> butter tastes good and everything tastes better with butter because it's butter. <laughs> when you try and put like butter flavored on it, mm -mm, it's not the same. It's not the same and it doesn't taste the same, right? Now, overall, when you're looking at healthy fats, right? You say healthy fats, you're looking at things like avocados, avocado oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, right? Coconut oil. Um, and then there's, and then I heard butter, right, Amy Marie? Oh my God. So good. And then I do talk about having butters as long as you are consuming something that is grass fed. So if you're gonna move, you know, aside from plant-based items, which are gonna be the avocados and the coconuts and the olives and the oils and the whatnots associated, you're gonna be looking at um, animal-based products. And if you are a person that consumes animal-based items, um, then going with something grass fed, organic, is gonna be your best bet because there's actually a difference in how those products are made inside the animal and the makeup of the product that it has. It's higher in things like CLA, which is conjugate linoleic acid, which actually helps your body burn more fat naturally. Pretty cool, right? So these are really important things um, to kind of focus on. Now, in my book, The Female Fat Solution, I do talk about nutrition that matches female hormones. I talk about eating for your cycle and hormones, and I talk about the basics of nutrition. A lot of information in here, so if you not pick this up, do so. But there's a lot of other info in here that's important to understand, especially when you're looking at full fat products. During the progesterone phase, which I talk about in here, this is days like 15 through 28 of your cycle, it's really important that you are diving into more fats in your, in your diet day to day. Your body needs more nutrient, it needs more calorie, and it's gonna need more of those fats, healthy fats, right? I'm always gonna say healthy fats, um, because your body just needs more nutrient at that time. So especially going to something that's got like light on it, no, just don't, just don't, right? Like if you're gonna have chips, have chips. If you're gonna have potato chips, have potato chips. You know, don't worry about the, what, what was it? Oh my God. Okay. Somebody has to comment below at what those chips were that on the package it said caused anal leakage. I can't remember what they were called right now. Um, mm, I can't remember what they called. Please somebody comment because that's what happens when you really like shift the, the natural nutrient in creating that food. Um, notice that low fat processed foods have more sodium and sugar. Yes, Allison. Yes, they do. Absolutely. You know, when you take a food and you're processing it even more to make it low fat, just cause you want it to look fancy. Uh, yeah, it'll have more sugar in it or it'll have more salt in it or something that makes it worse for you. Not better. Ooh, right? And then you're, you're moving farther from your goals there. So because they're, the fat has a lot of flavor to it. Um, that's the purpose of, you know, 
That's why <laughs> potato chips taste good. That's why butter tastes good. It's got a lot of flavor to it. Um, and <laughs> if you're going to be um, the Olean, yes, yes, oh my, yes, okay. There we go. Thank you. Um, so if you're going to be cutting down some of the flavor with trying to cut down the fat, then you have to boost the flavor somehow, which makes it higher in salt, makes it higher in sugar, which doesn't mean it's better for you. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things that all these low fat or light products came out in the nineties when it was like, fat is bad. Don't eat fat. I remember this. I remember this. Like, Oh, me and my sister, we used to go buy mini carrots because that was like the cool thing to do, right? To buy a bunch of mini carrots. And then we would get um, veggie dip and get the light veggie dip, the low fat veggie dip. Couldn't eat the regular fat veggie dip because that was bad for you, <sighs> right? All these things that we used to do that we thought were fine, but you know, now just I eat veggies and I put like butter on them, like real butter and all that stuff. And, it, and it, it's just, it's really important that you're having these fats in your day-to-day -day diet. Um, the other thing to think about too is that you do get energy from fats. Now again, I'm not saying that you should eat fats all day. Um, mini carrots are icky. <laughs> they were so cool when they first came out though. <laughs> um, but you know, you do get a lot of energy from fats. I mean, if you're looking at carbs and proteins, you only get, you know, four calories per gram. Fats is nine calories per gram. That it's more energy for you, basically. So um, <laughs> get the ones with the green tops and cut them up. Yes, I know, but then you have to do the work and cut them. Yeah. I actually do like bigger carrots now, like that are chopped. I don't like carrot, like mini carrots anymore. They they get like slimy in the bag if you get the big bag of them at Costco, which of course I do because I love Costco. I'm slightly obsessed with Costco. No, I'm not sponsored by Costco yet, right? Okay, I can dream. Um, but they do get slimy in there. Anyway. <sighs> but yeah, so now when I eat carrots and like hummus or whatever, I just, I eat it. Or if I'm making carrots or something, I put butter on them because it's delicious and it's good for you. You know? Uh, yeah. So stop, stop buying, stop buying into that fad. And it's one of those things that's almost a reflex now. You know what? You almost have to retrain yourself out of buying stuff like that or out of thinking, Ooh, that's, that's where I, that's what I should really be doing. It's amazing. So I do this thing too, when I go to the grocery store and I'm not judging anybody. I want to be very clear. I'm not judging, but I watch people cause it's incredible to see how people do their shopping. It's almost like they're robots. You know, it's not like they're like really thinking about what they want to do. I mean, there's people do shopping in different ways, right? Like my husband goes to the store and he'll get stuff for the day. Like he would go to the grocery store every day if he needed something like, Oh, I'm going to, I need stuff for dinner tonight. I'm just going to stop at the store. I'm like, why don't you stop at the store for dinner for five nights? <laughs> but people go to the grocery store and they're looking at stuff and they're like, Oh, this is what I normally get. So I'm just putting it in the cart, putting it in the cart. And you're not even thinking about the fact that these aren't things that are going to be serving you. These aren't things that are going to be fueling your body. So, you know, be aware of this. The next time you go to the store, and if you have a couple of minutes to just kind of like really glance around at people, uh, most people, they're not going to watch you doing this because they're going to be so busy or so like zoned in to what they're doing, right? That they're not going to notice you doing this. Or when you're like checking things out, you'll see people. It's amazing to see what people buy. And it's like, does that even go together with anything? Does that even like, how does that like, I'm fascinated with how people eat because I think it's so weird sometimes, but I think people buy things like low fat or light or whatever, whether it be, you know, some type of packaged product in a box, you know, a dairy product, whatever it is, because we're so used to and like ingrained in our heads that that's what's healthy. And so even buying it, we're just on autopilot. So watch people in the store the next time you're there and report back. I'm a Snoopy shopper. Yes. Totally Snoopy shopper. I want to see. I want to see where you're buying. <laughs> no, but seriously, if you do snap a picture, send it to me. <laughs> Somebody. Just kidding. Um, but it's. I think it's fascinating. So these are things I think are really important to just be conscious of, right? You can, you know, go on Pinterest and look at all these great recipes. You know, you can, you know, do all these different things. But if you're not actually applying what you're doing in real life, then you're not actually moving forward in health. And, and this is something that I've had a conversation with um, somebody recently on in terms of, you know, oh, 
you know, don't you help women with weight loss or all these other things? And I was like, well, that can be, that's more or less a side effect of what I love to help women with. I want to help you get healthier. I want to help you get to your goals. I want to help you have more energy, more stamina. I don't want your health or your weight or whatever that is to hold you back and whatever you want to do in your life. And that's the reality for a lot of women. They don't have the energy for it. They don't feel good. Women don't feel good. And they don't feel good because we're fueling our body with the wrong things because we're told that we should be eating these things. We're told that we should be eating a certain way. We're told that, oh, you need to eat low fat, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, your body needs fats. <laughs> so give it fats, right? So it's amazing that the difference it can make when you start really focusing on just shifting your thought process behind it, how you, you know, put things together in terms of shopping, acquiring food, cooking food, not being afraid to put more oil on your dinner if it's going to make it taste a little bit better and you're going to eat all your veggies. Great. Great. Don't be afraid of adding extra fats, especially if your body's feeling like it needs it. Um, there is different times of the day of the month that you may need extra fats. So it's amazing the difference that you can make in terms of feeling better, getting more energy, and then again, getting to a healthier weight and maintaining that because your body's functioning the way that it should. So that's my biggest goal for women is just to educate and give you these ideas and give you this sort of mindset tips as you go through your day and the week so that you can apply it so it's an actual thing that you can go out and do and change. So at the ne my goal for doing this whole thing is the next time you go in the grocery store, you start walking around. This is you in your cart, by the way. I don't know if you actually do this. I don't shop like this, but I'm pretending right now. And then you're like peeking around at people, watching how they do things, because it's going to make you think more about how you do it. And that's going to change what you choose, how, what you fall back on. I mean, when you're tired, when you're stressed out, I mean, it's not the same grocery trip as if you're like, I'm really well planned today. I've got all the time to go to the grocery store. That's like very rare for me, right? I'm like, I've got 25 minutes to get in and out of here and get back to my car and blah, 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 blah. All that, all that. It's, it's, it's right? That's me. That's, that's totally how I do it. So my goal to talk about this is to give you guys the info so that you can make a change the next time you go to the store. And it's kind of fun to creep on other shoppers at the store. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just make sure nobody's creeping on you when you're doing the creeping, right? Right. Oh, by the way, same thing about ice cream. I have the same feelings about ice cream. If you're going to eat ice cream, eat ice cream. Just eat ice cream. Just, you know, eat a small amount, right? You don't need a pint like my husband eats a pint when he's going to eat. Like, oh, I'm going to have some ice cream. No, you're going to have a pint, babe. Let's be real. You're going to eat the pint, right? If you're going to eat ice cream, eat ice cream. Just go for it. You know, fit it into your plan. Fit it into your day. Fit it into your week. You know, doing things like light doesn't, doesn't necessarily cut it. So. Yes. Yes. So helpful how we understand our bodies. Yes. Coconut oil on gluten-free toast is yummy. Yes, it is. I love that. You want to go up to some people with a cart full of sodas and little Debbie's. <gasps> oh yes. And ask them if they have a death wish. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, well, and I'm always, you know, so the other thing too, is that I also do some of my, now that we're talking about grocery shopping, this took a tangent on grocery shopping. I do a lot of my grocery shopping and I'll have my kids with me. Um, which sometimes is not my preference. Sometimes I'd rather just go to the store, get it done in and out. Boom. I sort of take pride in how quick I can get through Costco and how full I can make my cart. Yeah. It's like a race against no one but me, but I do it. And, uh, and sometimes with my kids with me, it's, that's a distraction, right? That's also another distraction. So can I keep that in mind? If you're, if you're with your kids and you're like, okay, we are going to do this or we're going to do that, right? Like, what's your boundary on that? What's your parameter on going to the store with your kids and having them have some things? So I tell my kids that they get to pick one thing. They get to pick one thing. I don't specify it's a treat, but of course they always pick a treat, right? You get to pick one thing and everybody's got to agree on the one thing and that's the thing. If you can't agree, you don't get the thing. Boom. Done. So they literally spend a lot of the time. Like, my son will help a lot with the groceries. He's super good. You know, does the cart. We'll go get things. You know, all this stuff. But um, my girls especially, because he's okay with any treat, right? He's like, good, it's great, it's a treat, I'm good. But the girls will argue and like negotiate with each other about the treat. Are we going to get popsicles? Are we going to get sorbet cups? Is it going to be just straight up ice cream, you know? And they, they, you know, all these things that go into their choices. So 
Um, but even navigating that, like knowing that ahead of time, being prepared for that, going into the store so that you're not caught off guard or you're not frustrated and you're not getting more stressed out in the store. Cause I think grocery shopping is stressful enough where you don't need to sit there in the aisle and like look back and forth between things like which one should I get? Uh, you know, that just derails you. So yes. Anyway, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Sort of a rambling <laughs> message on get the full fat products, eat the fat, it's going to be fine. Work it into your day. Work it into your program. However that is. If you've got questions on how that works, then let me know. Um, I'll put a link below where you can schedule a call with me. But I honestly, I tell people, if you're going to eat ice cream, eat the ice cream. You know? you have a, I have a 12-week program. And for women, they, they eat ice cream. I, they travel. They go to, you know, wine tastings and all these other things. And guess what? They still make progress. Guess what? They still get towards their goals. Why? because it's worked into their entire program and they're working with their bodies, not fighting against it. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you later.